आई आई टी जोधपुर वी आर इनोवेशन मीट्स इंस्पिरेशन वी आर डिस्टिंग्विस्ड फैकल्टी आर पुशिंग द फ्रंटियर्स ऑफ नॉलेज स्पार्किंग आइडियाज दैट हैव द पावर टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द वर्ल्ड रिसर्च दैट होल्ड्स द पोटेंशियल टू इम्पैक्ट सोसाइटी गेट रेडी टू इम्बार्क ऑन अ जर्नी through the minds of pioneers discover the sparks that are igniting the future it is a critical challenge to understand and improve the cellular quality control mechanism defective cellular quality control mechanism can contribute in many critical diseases and complex disorders hi I am Professor Amit Kumar Mishra, Head Department of Bioscience and Bioengineering, and currently Principal Investigator of Cellular and Molecular Neurobiology Unit at IIT Jodhpur. We are trying to understand the molecular mechanism of complex diseases. with the help of cellular protein quality control mechanisms implicated in three complex disorder the first one is neurodegeneration the major problem of our country is to distinguish various neurodegenerative diseases such as huntington parkinson amyotrophical lateral sclerosis disease or ataxia it is a challenge when a patient appear in the hospital how from the research point of view we can distinguish them that which particular neurodegenerative disease state persist in the patient and this is the challenge where we are targeting our research we are trying to develop quality control mechanism based biomolecular biomarker developments in our lab so it is important to identify the neurodegenerative disease state cell to develop a biomarker as you can see here that these are the cells which are having misfolded protein and these cells can develop a neurodegeneration states where we can test our biomarkers in future the biomarkers are going to be very useful to identify the correct neurodegenerative diseases and therefore the doctors can start a proper treatment for the patient which will reduce the cost of therapeutic solutions and also going to be make life easy for the patients Our second research is focused to understand how we can deplete the resistance in cancer cells because cancer is a current state a non-curable and challengeable disease. We are trying to identify the molecular mechanisms by which we can use the drug repurposing strategy and reduce the cost of cancer treatment. In our lab we have identified two important non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as diclofenac and ibuprofen and we have identified that these painkillers if you are going to be treat your cells in a very low concentration the cells are developing a uh, depletion in their survival and the anti-cancerous drugs are more effective this strategy is going to be provide a therapeutic solution for the doctors that the combinatorial therapy of drug repurposing can induce the treatment of patient and reduce the cost of treatment of cancer non curable disease in future our third research focus is based on imperfect aging in current state we are not expecting the truth that during old stage if we are progressing towards the imperfect aging it can cause several complex diseases or critical disorders as we know when we are progressing towards the aging we are prone to develop diabetes we are prone to develop other metabolic disorders or neurodegeneration as i explained earlier we are trying to find out in our lab that how we can improve the cellular efficiency with the help of upregulated protein quality control mechanisms and we have identified that natural compound such as mircetine or quercetin these are the flavonoids from the plant which are having a capacity to induce the cellular protein quality control mechanisms and it can 
deplete the effect of imperfect cellular aging and that can be a best solution for the upcoming non-curable complex disorder during the imperfect aging state. Therefore, the development of new possible biomarkers against the cancer neurodegenerative diseases will make our life more easy to find out the real and precise target of neurodegenerative diseases and the drug repurposing work will reduce the cost of search of new drugs which is a very time taking and expensive process and that is also going to be helpful for the treatment of cancer disease and the natural compounds which we are trying to use obtained from the plants such as flavonoids can be very helpful for the treatment of complex diseases or imperfect aging patients in near future. Thank you. Thank you.